Approximately 2,700 years ago, the peaceful bays of the Maltese Islands would have borne witness to a site which would end the prehistoric era for good. Enormous wooden ships with tall arching sails and a multitude of oars paddling furiously at their sides. The Phoenicians had arrived. With these new Eastern Mediterranean people came new knowledge and a newfound familiarity with these. This is a murex shell and it was found in great abundance wherever the Phoenicians settled down. They offered something of enormous value. Many sea snails have a special piece of anatomy known as the hypobranchial gland. It secretes a special mucus, acting as a chemical defense for their egg sacs. But it can also be turned into a rich purple dye for clothing, and that's what the Phoenicians were after. Thousands of snails were harvested, crushed and boiled in a lengthy process which would eventually yield a miraculous purple color, which didn't fade away in the sun. It took over 10,000 snails to produce one gram of the pigment, making it very expensive, and only VIPs of an imperial standard could afford to wear it. The process was much too laborious, the product too expensive, and by the 13th century, the famous Tyrian purple of the Phoenicians, for which many snails had died to yield, was no longer in fashion. But the purple of the Phoenicians wasn't the only dye in existence, and soon a new one was becoming much more popular in the West. A deep crimson color, obtained not from the sea, but from the land. The tree behind me may appear to be a normal young holly oak, but if we look at its branches precisely here, we might see a very strange animal indeed. Believe it or not, this spherical structure is a living scale insect. It's a female of the species Kermes vermilio, and beneath that bulging exterior are hundreds upon hundreds of scarlet eggs. The insects would be plucked in their hundreds from the trees on which they fed and crushed into a fine powder after being left out to dry. The powder would then be soaked in water, giving a gorgeous red dye, which would cling to clothing, giving it a fantastic appearance. The color came to represent regality and commanded respect to its bearer. <laughs> 